Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Bottom Left and Corner of I Love XTO starting as the red Terran bottom right and corner of Bon Bon starting as the blue Protoss. This is Hasu League BSL Season 15 semi-final fourth match. Bon Bon currently down 2-1. to one. This is Neo Sylphid where you got this... It's weird because it's hard to tell where the ramps are on this, but the ramps are like right there. The rest of this is high ground. Kind of... I wonder how many maps have this sort of factor, and wow, there's like a pile of critters at the third. They really do not want a magical SCV or probe to get out there and take that expansion. <clears throat> Three-player isometric map. Third gas somewhat exposed. Oftentimes, Protoss players will opt for the 3 o'clock period location and the 9 o'clock period location, depending on spawn location. Uh, since that is more exposed, Terran... Not a bad map to go for that three three base shell up play to get 200 200 and just send out a stream of vultures in the meantime. Wide natural expansion, which does make dragoons strong in the game. You can see where siege tanks have to position somewhat far forward to defend, uh, depending on location. Yeah. Anyway. Whoops. Having trouble today. Lagging a little bit, uh, not in the lag, but because of uh, sleep and daughter's been sick in the background lately, so I've been taking care of her as best I can, although she's still very high energy, so it's more me just watching her run around a lot as of late. Barracks being built in Isle of XTO's base does have the supply depot already in place to get faster gas. And with this configuration, considering that there's no anti-zealot defense... This leads me to, to believe that XTO might be thinking about going for an earlier factory rather than for an earlier command center. Granted, you can still place a supply depot or something along those lines with the next SCV, but currently this configuration looks to optimize gas, maybe have uh, re in between here, but it's basically not a defensive configuration. We'll see if my instinct is correct on that. Protoss gateway down, cybernetic score, and no first zealot as of yet. Pylon kind of being hidden from by Bon Bon, and I kind of like that play. He's going to move it to just this southern pocket corner in the hopes that XTO doesn't scout it as he passes through. Maybe cause a panic moment, maybe cause him to rethink what is going on. We do have three SCV chugging away in gas. This SCV scout moving out, checking out the 12 o'clock base, finding nothing. So now knows Bon Bon's location. Bon Bon moving in is going to get first scout into his opponent's base, and there is the factory. It looks like actually SCV is pulling off gas, so I was incorrect in my initial assessment. Probe able to cycle through, confirm just a single SCV on gas. Second supply depot along that corner. Range being upgraded, first Dragoon out, and that is gonna be out as this SCV is making it across. So Bonbon bon might have some options. As far as follow-up tech, it looks like that probe Liked what it saw and is just going to go ahead and head home. This looks like very classic, for what's configuring here, this looks like classic factory into expand. Potentially with the, we'll see if it's Vulture first or a machine shop gets dropped. But Dragoon is going to do pretty significant damage early. And this is where XTO, did he see, so is he thrown off by the lack of the additional pylon? I'm going to presume not. Because there's that pylon at that lower corner. SCV is not going to be able to escape with its life. Bunker being placed towards the front. XTO going to go ahead and seal that front door. And it looks like it, yeah, it's just going to be Machine Shop Siege into Expand. Starport, though, behind this. So, despite showing more information in that regard. So, now what Bon Bon needs to do is he needs to be diligent about pressing forward into this to confirm that there's an actual expansion. XTO is actually going to expand behind them, so he's doing a lot at once. So this is going to slow down the siege tank. He's trying to get a vulture out. XTO is going to have to deal with dragoons longer than he might have wanted to. So I think he was hoping that Bon Bon was going for more of an economic opener here. And I, I do not know what was indicative in Bon Bon's base where he felt that Bon Bon was going to go for more of a fast expansion build, although it looks like he is plopping down that nexus. After one gate, there are additional gateways to follow up, so it was correct in this. But two Dragoons pecking away at the bunker on the front. XTO without SCVs in position. We saw this in the previous match. There's only one SCV that's not sufficient to keep this out of the red. Two more SCVs moving up as a third Dragoon is moving up in position. 
That's going to slow down the, com the command center a smidge. But XTO is going to have to suffer this for quite some time. And as I say that, it's these tank meandering out. So, man, bad calls this game. Starport is up. Control tower there as well. Mines being upgraded. And now this is actually looking like a pretty clever build. So after everything settles, and I'm wrong about everything, uh, <laughs> it's going to... Everybody's got to have some of those games, right? Everyone... It look, I kind of like what, what XDO's done. Because he's showing a defensive front. But he is going to have that dropship that are going to fly right past Bonbon's defenses. Because Bonbon looking to pile on wall and use the Dragoons early to negate initial Vulture harassment. However, a downside of this is, is by investing so heavily into Starport early, XTO needs to make it count. And let's see how many Dragoons Bonbon stay, keeps at home base. I should have mentioned this is, is a very droppable map. Bonbon bon peeking through the corner to kind of look at the SCV saturation, but I think he's also... This is where you maybe where there was a failure in previous matches. He peeks in, sees no siege tanks there. So good peek in, saw nothing, so now he has to know the drop's coming. The Dragoons are now returning to home base. Three Dragoons in position at the natural to go ahead and assault that. So nice play from Bonbon bon upon seeing the lack of pressure and actually ran into that problem in previous matches. So it looks like he's going to be able to shut XTO's drop down. And this is going to be a big loss now for XTO. So well played. And actually a nice, I'm going to say, adjustment in play. Because we saw in previous matches, the Dragoons were assaulting. Didn't notice the lack of Siege Tank count. And that cost Bonbon. Bon. Here, Bonbon bon has an Observer pinned on that dropship. XTO going to do XTO things, though, while Bonbon's bon's taking his third base rapidly. It looks like he wants to try to sneak an expansion. And I, this is kind of a fun play as well, because the Dragoons are going to be more pinned towards home base, worried about potential shuttle, and also if the Vultures move out rapidly, they can start creating havoc out on the map. In the meantime, X XTO scouting with a lot of SCVs absolutely everywhere, before opting to go ahead and grab that 12 o'clock base. So Vulture now moving forward. Now, basically, XTO is just hoping this does not get scouted, because Dragoons can easily wipe that out. But Bonbon, bon, if he's done any study and has any idea of XTO's playstyle, should immediately start wandering out. He's got plenty of Dragoons at home base to deal with the Vultures that are here. He's got these two Dragoons to pin that sh the uh, dropship in that back corner. All he has to do is find that base. Dropship going to actually be wiped out in that bottom right. And is XTO going to try to... He's going to try to double expand. Are you kidding me? So now he's just hoping that Bonbon bon isn't going to attack him and is going to go for that quick fourth. Only two siege tanks on the front. Just hoping that Bonbon's bon going to play more passively, but without that dropship there, I'm not sure how likely that is. Four siege tanks, engineering bay to try to create some extra base bulk. I'm waiting to see if he is, in fact, going to opt to go ahead and just grab a fourth. Dragoons and Zelt staging behind this. We do have, what is that, six gateways? Zelt leg speed making its way. XTO acting so slow playing this, putting on a show for this observer as though he's trying to slow move to take his third. But that third is already online. Three factories, three machine shops. Sorry, four factories, three machine shops. To pump a lot of siege tanks. Armory being plopped down a little bit later because of all of the gas costs earlier, but a slew of troops moving out. Significant supply lead for Bonbon. Bon. And again, all he has to do, oh, this is the moment. Observer sneaking out, does he find that base? There's no way this survives. So this SCV, going to get wiped out, now sees the base. Oops. So now, big swing in events. Unfortunately for Bonbon, bon, he's attack moving. Well, actually, maybe fortunately, those siege tanks spread too thin. The Zealot's able to get right on top of them. So, three siege tanks left defending, and over a control group of Dragoons, it looks like. Sorry, now underneath a control group of Dragoons. Pressing to that natural expansion, able to wipe out everything here, and Bonbon bon pulling the trigger. 
wiping out everything on the front. Looks like he's going to lose one Dragoon to Mines, but otherwise there's only one Siege Tank left on defense. Engineering Bay absorbing some shots because of a lack of micromanagement. SCV's mixing up, trying to fend off the Dragoons, but this is a lot of economic damage done early. And also resetting that Siege Tank count to nigh zero. More reinforcements are streaming their way this direction. Once the Zealots get in the front, they're going to be able to take out even more SCVs more rapidly. Natural expansion has been completely cleared. And a few Zealots being migrated to the north for Bon Bon. Zealots in large numbers on top of Siege Tanks. XTO not even calling GG, just giving out the next game match. So not the best cast by me. But now the series is going to be tied up. So nice instincts there on Bon Bon in Game 4 to send it to Game 5. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.